I have a rather large landscape design loaded here and I've loaded a plant list that I've called Mediterranean Climate List with this particular drawing. So the list gets associated with the drawing and when we save it, list now or a path will appear down here in the status line. When you open a list like this, which I hasten to add is one that I've developed for this particular site, but it contains a lot of plants that we won't use in the site. So what we're going to do is pick from the list and associate symbols in that site with names in this list. One of the first things you'll notice as you load one of these lists is that you may see some red underlines. The red underlining indicates a word that the dictionary doesn't understand. So Allegheim Ugoli, if we right click there, we can add the word and I'll add it and close and add this word and add it and close. Can you see that those names are now disappearing? The underline is disappearing under those names. So the kangaroo paw, the dictionary doesn't recognize that. We want to add it to the dictionary and close. So you'd work your way through. This is a once only job and it will put those correctly spelled botanical and common names into your dictionary that will live on your particular computer. But I digress. The point of this little story is to show that the list is sorted on alphabetical name of the species, the botanical name of the species first, then the second column is the common name. If you wanted to search in alphabetical or sort in alphabetical list of common names, just click on the heading above and some of these have not got a common uh, a common name. The same applies to type. You can click here and that's put all the ground covers together, all the large shrubs together, the large trees, the medium shrubs and so on. So that can help when you're searching for one particular species. So the list works in that way. I can save that list now. I can, if I need to, I can change the column delete a column, I can add a column, all sorts of edits that you can do to, the, to your list. Every designer I suspect will use this tool in different ways. Some of you might have one single list of all the plants that you work with and just sort and use it in the way that you've just seen here. Others might load special lists for special types of work. It's up to you as to how you use this feature. But if you want to automate the plant schedule, you need to learn to manage these lists and certainly getting your spelling right I think is uh, very important. There's nothing more embarrassing than a misspelled plant schedule list.